Good thing, gang man. Liquid gold. This might be my thousand, thousand episode of how to make fur. So we gotta break it down just because a lot of people are like, hey Quan, that's a lot of steps to make a fur. And I say yes, 100%. But here's an easier way cutting down steps but making it tasty, all right? So everybody, two kilograms of beef. This is foot for two or foot for one if you're lonely. <laughs> but anyways, if you're lonely, you're good, man. Just keep working on yourself, right? When you work on yourself, the things in life will come to you, right? So I didn't fart. It was this, if you guys heard it, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, we got three liters of water here. Two kilograms of beef bone in, okay? This is just foot for two people. Let's go, bowling time. 20 minutes. 20 minutes in, very simple. Dump it out. Oh man, this is like the most easiest thing. You guys are asking me, I promise you. This is like the, like I usually cook like very, like a lot of foot, just because you can freeze foot broth later, you know, put in the fridge and that's it. So, very simple, cool. It feels so weird. It actually feels so weird. So, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Three liters of water into our pot here, okay? After three liters of water, this feels so weird. This actually feels very, very weird. Very weird to me, but this is for you, all right? So a lot of people uh, don't like to cook a lot of pho, and this recipe is for you, okay? Very simple, so simple. Three liters in, okay? Wash your bone, okay, into you your three liters of, raw, of water. Everybody back in the pool. I don't care if they can swim. They just have to get in very clean, okay? And it goes. A very tasty foot broth in the end of the day by using just, kind of just like minimum stuff, right? It's still packed with flavors and you guys will love this, all right? So very simple, everybody. Pen and paper, pen and paper down, right? We got one tablespoon of fish sauce here. Two tablespoons of mushroom seasoning, or you guys can use, um, what is that stuff called? Um, chicken bouillon. Yes, I know I make a lot of food, but I, I just want to break it down for you, for two people, because I was making it for ten people, right? So, we got two tablespoons of mushroom seasoning, or two tablespoons of chicken bouillon. We got half a cup of fish sauce, one and a half of uh, onion, a slither of, or a nice chunk of uh, ginger here. We got five sarnies, one cinnamon, Rock sugar. So how much does rock sugar weigh? It weighs 66. Oh, imagine if I had 69 grams. Two tablespoons, like we weighed out in the beginning. Two tablespoons of mushroom seasoning. Tablespoon of fish sauce in. Make sure you get all that in. Half a cup of fish sauce. Uh, 66 grams of rock sugar. I'm gonna make it so simple. I'm not gonna char my onions and the ginger. Throw it in. Throw in our cinnamon. Throw in our star anise. If you guys plan to cook with beef ribs, it's gonna take a little longer. But if you guys plan to cook with just beef bones, it's gonna take two hours. So if you want these beef ribs to really get really tender, they go around four hours. So let's just say in the broth, in four hours, the broth's gonna be ultimately delicious and the meat's gonna be tender. But if you got beef bone and you don't have time, get that beef bone and just the bone, two hours, good. But the longer it sits, the tastier it'll be, all right? So if you guys don't have time, two hours in. Believe it or not, so I've been uh, a little busy with some stuff here and this foot broth has been sitting for about two days, all right? So, all we're gonna do, it's such a small thing where I'm just like very confused in a way, but very smiling in a way. <laughs> because normally when I cook foot, I cook a lot. Like a lot, a lot. But this, Oi! Perfect for two. So, boom, boom, boom. Right onto the stove, and look at this, ladies and gentlemen. So, I do have a pot that just tells me how much liters I have. If it's not at three liters, fill it up to three liters of broth, okay? So, what do we do? Fill it up to three liters, my gang. That's it. Let that boil for additional 20 more minutes, all right? Okay, our broth is steaming away. These, my friend, are foot noodles. These are a little thicker noodles. Well, who am I kidding to say? These are thicker noodles. These are legit foot noodles. So the noodles in North America and pretty much all around the world that eats foot are eating whole day noodles, all right? So 30 seconds, 
boiling top. I got some beef chuck roll. Nicely thin and sliced. I'm just gonna kill this all around. So the broth will cook the meat, all right? So don't panic if you see rawness. All right, we got onions right on top. Green onions all around. Fifty gang man. Liquid gold. Liquid gold. Oh, the 69! My two people. Two hour foot is up my guy, girl. Two hour foot broth recipe. So come on in. Come on in. I just want you guys to take a look. Yeah, see? Very delicious. See? Very simple. I'm gonna push this down. So what we're doing now is just adding extra flavor to the broth here. So more beef on top, more onions on top. We're gonna try the broth first, quick time. Don't disrespect my two hours like that. Super pumped for this. I'm actually drooling in my mouth right now. Oh man. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Oh! Let's say this. Very delicious. But I'll tell you, be honest, okay? I feel like it's just missing the sweetness from the bones. So the bones, just because it's two hours, right? Like, it doesn't have so much time for brewing. It's always best for you to brew it for two hours, but. I feel like this, just because I feel like it's a little sweet on the rock sugar. Just like a slight sweetness on the rock sugar. I feel like it needs a little more fish sauce. So you guys taste it and adjust it. And that's it. And it's perfect, okay? You guys can put hoisin. No, don't put hoisin in there. Put the fish sauce in. Don't put the hoisin in. There. Come on. Don't put the hoisin in. See? Some people are like, hold on. Why'd you put the fish sauce? You should put the fish sauce there. Guys. You can put extra fish sauce in it if you feel like the broth is a bit sweet on the rock sugar. Just a bit, okay? Try again. Oh. Heavenly, heavenly, heavenly. Okay? Let's go. I'll put the, this on this side. And just dip it. Respect my two hour broth. Mmm. <laughs> okay? That beef is fire though. Lime. Let's go. I'll tell you right now. You can eat it at two hours. I'm eating at two hours. But my opinion, if you cook it longer, it's gonna get tastier, okay? But it is tastier already. Yeah. Mm. Very good. When I say a little longer, I mean maybe all together two hours. <laughs> An extra two hours. This is my first time buying this meat and it's so soft. Chuck eye roll, never knew how soft it is. It's kind of like a filet mignon. Mmm. Oh. What a saw piece of meat. I'll tell you right now, it's like a filet mignon. How many foot videos I made? I give you an instant pot one, I give you a two hour one, I give you a 16 hour one, I give you an eight hour one. How many more simple ones can you make? <laughs> or do you want? <sighs> Dip. Eat. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sweating must happen when you eat pho. You just gotta ask yourself and just look around. If people are sweating or not sweating, just ask yourself this. Is the foot that even good? If you're not sweating over there? Mm? Oh. See, I'm eating, I'm dripping right into my bra, slipping that protein back. <laughs> I don't know, is it? And not wasting every any bit of it. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm not sure if I've mentioned that, but if you guys made it this far, but when you add the lead or the water back in, or just a regular water back in, cook for an additional 30 minutes, all right? You want all the flavors to mellow back in together and meet each other. Man, forget the steam room. <laughs> Order yourself a bowl of fun. <laughs>